Hello and welcome to WeBuyAnyMotorCamera.com. Don't forget to press subscribe below for the latest motorhome news and reviews. Today we have got the stunning Autosleeper Kingham. Finished in metallic gold, this motorhome comes in at just short of 6.4 metres in length, 2.26 metres in width, so it is a nice narrow body as you'd expect from a van conversion, and 2.64 metres in height. It is on the three and a half ton chassis, which means it can be driven on the standard or restricted car license. It does come very well specced. As you can see from this angle, you have got the solar panel on top, TV aerial and roof rails. Nice black windows all the way around. It is an eye turner for sure. Reversing camera on the rear. And if we just head to the back doors. We have the rear access for the water pump, internal storage and cassette toilet. And look at the inside with the French bed from the exterior. With the metallic gold it really does look the part and on this side you can also see the too late Omnister awning LED lights and it does have the daytime running lights on the front as well as the electric step that comes out on the side As we head inside the Auto Sleeper Kingdom, we have what is a very spacious and luxurious camper van. Starting with the entrance door, we have a step button plus the light switches. We have nice LED lights just above the door, just below the Tule Omnister awning. Carpets throughout. We have a nice long bench seat. Along with this and the two front seats that swivel around, we can seat four around a table which is stored above. Three cupboards above this area plus underneath the bench seat. Storage for the table and whatever else you fancy in there. The cab itself, very highly specced, which you'd expect with it being an auto sleeper. This one in particular, is on the Peugeot Boxer 2.2 HDI engine with the upgraded 150 brake horsepower. This has the premium pack, which includes extras such as the cab air conditioning, air ride suspension, which you can see there's the gasset and the air ride suspension is just on the side of the door. Uh, reversing camera, is above and daytime running lights outside driver and passenger airbag is standard steering wheel controls bluetooth phone prep six speed gearbox cd radio player everything that you need in the cab spinning around in the lounge area we do have uh, sockets for tvs etc the kitchen itself Again, very spacious. Sometimes in camper vans, they are very limited in space. With the fold-out table just here, it does extend the kitchen area and probably makes a bigger kitchen area than most motorhomes generally. Lots of storage cupboards below, oven grill, three hob burner, microwave just above, and two more cupboards as well. This has a neat little thing two handles, pull up, and you have your three 240 volt sockets. In the bathroom area itself, we've got two cupboards with a mirror with nice LED lighting all the way around and storage as well. The bathroom itself does light up. 
However, it does turn the fan on as well, so it's just a bit noisy for this video. But quite a nice, spacious motor, uh, bathroom for a camper van of this size. And it does have the sink, the fixed sink, which can be a rarity as they tend to fold down in the camper vans. Nice, sort of like fault leather ceiling, leather trim all the way around. And just makes it less plasticky, a bit more quality, you know, for etc. Uh, around the bed, and which is the main feature of this motorhome, is the French corner bed. Storage above and of course storage below as well this is a great big thick mattress and there we have your storage underneath most of the mattresses nowadays are thin things but this is a quality mattress light sockets uh, sorry light switches and sockets for everything that you need in here further light switches underneath at the rear Wardrobe just in front of the bed and fridge in the kitchen just to finish off. This is a great motorhome from Water Sleeper, one of the better layouts that they do. I am very impressed by this motorhome, real quality and a great layout. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below for the latest motorhome news and reviews. And please comment and tell me what your thoughts are in this camper van yourself. And I hope to see you soon.